need something? Now, I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Well, let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. What can I get you? Have a look. Most of it's edible. Some of it even tastes good. Enjoy. Have a good one, stranger. So, how's the scabbing been? Got the food medicine from that super duper mart? Really? You did? You did? Well, all right. Tell me all about it. Whoa, really? Raiders and robots? I guess I wasn't the only one to think about checking those doors. Looks like you gotta be careful looting them. Well, keep what you got. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit. My treat. Tastes kinda great after a while. Oh, oh, and take this. It's an old food sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink, um, more, um, better. I still need to study a living specimen with radiation poisoning. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Oh, don't worry so much about it. I'll be here waiting with a nice tall glass of rad cleansing Brahmin milk for you when you get back. Well, mostly just a whole lot of rad X and rad away. It may be even a more reliable way to get rid of radiation, assuming it works, of course. Oh, you're a peach, or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness, but if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate.
Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Have fun out there, okay? Oh, feeling a bit under the weather, or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> I realize a lot of things, but this isn't one of them because it's a real scientific necessity and, and, and not ridiculous at all. What I mean is, I need this research, and you're probably going to get irradiated out there anyway. So, why not come back here and help me too? Sure thing. Remember. If you need something from me, spill it. What's it to be? A few caps to find out where your father went? Or are you going to have a go of it on your own? Well, the wasteland can be such an unforgiving place. caps for so much information. Think about it.
know the human body can survive without the stomach or spleen? <laughs> oh, what's up? Oh, feeling a bit under the weather <laughs> or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> I can tell you're positively glowing. Now just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels and I'll get you fixed right up. You're a lucky one, you know. At this level, most people don't make it. But then again, most people don't have my experimental tricks. And now, after taking a few notes, I'll take care of that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade concoction. I've never had the chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed. Oh, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Okay. A little ramen milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems. As my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. Have fun out there, okay? Don't try it.
steel. Branded outcasts are just as dangerous. Even more so.
skinny about disarming that thing? Are those hot little potatoes because you know they're on the ground like potatoes and hot because they um explode anyway what's up my very own landmine oh just what I've always wanted well always since I sent you out on this anyway now tell me all about it what was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? I'll use that in the book. Maybe I should credit you as a co-author instead of just a researcher. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course, but it's easy to make your own, too. Yup, you've done a great job. I just need to add in the section on how to cook rat, and this chapter's done. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course, you may need them. We still got two more chapters to go. Well, I can't force you to work, I suppose. Come back soon. <laughs>